Hi all, hope everybody had a good Christmas. Um, I promised you a little tiny uh, project, um, something to do over the uh, Christmas holidays, so that's what I'm doing now. This is a book I did in a class um, earlier on uh, this year. It's a um, belly band closure, just a tiny little mini book. It opens up, um, we've got space here for a luggage tag, space for photos, space here for uh, another luggage tag and photos um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the base of it I'm going to go off and decorate mine and then I'll come back and show you how I finished it but I've got some photos here uh, from when my um, sister's family and uh, Mark and I went out to one of our local stately homes for the Christmas tree festival um, and uh, I've got these great pictures of my niece and nephew by the trees so I'm going to do a little Christmas version um, of that book so I'm going to decorate that up and I'll finish off by showing you so uh, right the first thing you're going to need to do is get some plain cardstock now I've always used an A4 sheet now in the UK an A4 sheet of card is roughly 11 and 3 quarter inches long by eight and a quarter inches wide so when I talk about A4 those are the measurements pretty much that um, that I give you so when I'm saying take a sheet of A4 plain cardstock and just say for instance cut length by four inches that means that it's four inches wide basically by 11 and three quarter inches long um, but if I get mixed up and forget to tell you that's that's the measurement uh, for anybody who isn't in the UK so the first thing we have to do is I want you to take a, a sheet of just plain cardstock I'm using white and I'm going to cut that at the length of A4 which as I said was approximately 11 and three quarter inches and I'm going to cut that at four inches wide okay so that's my piece there so that's four inches by eleven and three quarter inches the next piece that I want to cut is also four inches wide so I'm going to cut that to start with and then I'm going to cut that at ten inches so I've got a piece that is ten inches by four inches wide okay the next piece that I want to cut is going to be four by six inches. So that's pretty much the same size as a standard photo. So that's four inches by six inches. And then uh, finally, the belly band that we're going to cut is in two pieces. And I want you to cut two of these at one inch. So I'm gonna cut two at one inch find my one inch measurement there one inch by five and three quarter inches so that's five and three quarter inches those look completely different measurements that's because I've cut that at one and a quarter not that it matters so that's one inch by five and three quarter inches okay so that's actually all that we need to make the book, just those five little pieces of card. So next, if you want to grab your um, scoreboard, completely forgot what that was called, obviously too much Baileys for me, uh, and take the first piece that we cut that was the A4 size um, by four inches. Line up so the A4 length is at the top of your scoreboard, and I want you to score at five inches and at ten and a quarter inches on the A4 side okay I want you to get the next piece that was ten inches by four inches I want you to score on the ten inch side so it's the ten inches that's at the top of our scoreboard I want you to score at half an inch at three inches and at five and a half inches OK, then grab the piece that is uh, four by six with the six inch piece at the top of your scoreboard. Please score at half an inch, at three inches and at five and a half inches. OK, then finally, the two belly band pieces. I just want you to score on the long side at half an inch on both of those. OK, well, we're rocketing through this. It's really not going to take long to put together at all. OK, 
So for the next piece, what I need you to do is get some um, wet glue and your uh, bone folder, which I had mine a moment ago and I've now lost. So we're going to start off here with the outside of our little mini book. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it to fit. So I want you to fold that piece over there. Make sure you've got a really good crease and that one there. So that is the outside of our book, just a cute little book, okay? That is actually going to form the cover. Grab the next piece, which was the 4 by 10 inch piece. And what I want you to do is I want you to fold over on the half inch score there. Just make sure that's um, burnished really well. I want you to fold it over again. So that we've got a little pocket forming here but then i want you to fold that back on itself okay and score uh, and burnish well there okay so that's that's what we've got okay we're going to form a little pocket here but we'll do that in a minute when we come to glue the next piece the six by four four inch piece we're going to fold one of those half inch scores there fold it over and burnish and the same there We've still got that half inch flap there which will just fold back on itself just for now and then the belly band we're just going to fold that little flap up like that and the same on that side okay so that's all the folding done so what we're going to do now is glue at this point we don't need to glue anything to our uh, mini book cover so we can just put that to one side but this piece what we're going to do is we're going to glue, wet glue down that, that flap there and along the bottom here because we want to um, make a pocket. So just put some wet glue down that bit of card there and just a little sliver along the bottom there as well. Because what we're going to do now is just fold that over to make a pocket. I'm going to get glue everywhere now. OK, so the reason that um, we've called it the two tag book is because I've got a little luggage tag here. I will give you the dimensions for that. But that will basically now just pop into that little pocket there. So that's that's the luggage tag. OK, so we're going to put that to one side to dry. This piece here, we're going to do exactly the same again. We're going to put some wet glue down that flap there. And just a little sliver along the bottom and we're going to fold that over and glue it down and that will give us a matching pocket into which our luggage tag will just slip okay the belly band is quite easy we've got our two little flaps here we're just going to pop a little bit of wet glue onto either side we are going to glue get it right we're going to glue those onto each other so one goes there and that should line up nicely there and that let's check it fits should give us our belly band cover right so we've got our cover we've got this bit which is going to fit into there and we've got this bit which is going to fit into there like that that'll all fold up and we've got our belly band so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just go off and just decorate this book up because i just think it's so much easier to decorate before we actually come to put the book together so that's what i'm going to go off and do and i will see you in a moment OK, welcome back to my very messy desk. I have just decorated up um, the front and back of my book. I've decorated up this little pocket with the flap. I've decorated up the belly band and I've decorated up this page here that's got the pocket. The paper that I've used, just in case you're interested, is Doodlebug Design 6x6 uh, six six paper pad 
call Christmas Town. Not my usual style. I'm not too keen on cartoony, but I don't know. I just really, really like these. Um, but this is a great little project for using up lots of your six by six pads, to be honest, and lots of your scraps. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the book together. Now, you've got two choices. When we come to attach this page uh, in here, you can either staple. Um, I've got a long arm stapler. It doesn't look like a long arm stapler, but it is. Very clever little gadget. Um, or you can actually sew. So just, you know, make a couple of holes here in the uh, the fold of your book and and sew through either way will work but for speed I'm going to staple mine so I'm going to make sure that my book lines up exactly where I want it to be and I am going to put in a couple of staples oh, always in the wrong place because that's how I roll which now will have attached my book together there so when I open up my book I've got um, I've got that little pocket in place there. I have started to decorate up my tags. Uh, I've got a picture of my niece and nephew there and that'll just slip in there. But I'm going to do uh, a little bit more with it first. So that is the first page in there. And over time it will um, it will start to, to move easier. So the other page that we've got to put in is this little um, pocket tag um page so that's going to go over this side with the flap here and the flap will become apparent uh, when i finish decorating it so i'm just going to make sure that that all lines up and once again i am going to get my stapler and i'm going to staple those pages in yep not too bad and this other one just make sure it all lines up where it should and I'm going to staple that page in as well. There we go. So that page is now stapled in as well. OK, so I've got my little flap there. So that's the book made up. Now all I've got to do is decorate it and I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'm going to get back to you. Show you how I finished it off. See you in a moment. OK, so just quickly to finish off, I'm going to show you my little book. Um, as I said, it's very Christmas themed because um, I did it about a little outing that we had uh, at the beginning of December to one of our local stately homes. So um, this is the book. The belly band, um, you will have noticed earlier in the video, I've made a little bit longer because this book is so full of bits and pieces. Um, that I've made it slightly longer so um, I've changed those sizes earlier on you might want to leave your belly band until last until you know how much stuff you're putting in your book so that just slides off do bear in mind when you're decorating the front of your book um, that if you are going to slide your belly band on and off you don't want to really be putting any stuff down the bottom here because it'll just get um, stuck on it so there we go inside the book you just open it up here I've got my photos, I've got lots of um, embellishments. I've put that little flap um, there, those little pictures um, on this, this little bit of um, spare card here. Um, this is where I can put my uh, luggage tags with photos on. I've put some different um, ribbon on those. These are just little bits of embellishment that you can take in and out. I've just glued the, that on three sides to make a pocket. Open it up. Here again, you've got the little um, embellishments that you can take out. More photos um, to tell the story. Uh, and then that is the book complete. So very, very easy, very quick to put together. Um, love to see what you do with yours you can really use them for any occasion at all they make nice little gifts you could do it instead of a birthday card maybe you could make a whole little um group of them for different things that you do with your families or you know different events that you go to but i hope you've enjoyed that and i will see you all at the beginning of january so uh, i think it's january the 15th is our first day back to make our big um organizer uh, so I'll see you um, then. So enjoy the rest of the Christmas break and I'll see you all very, very soon. Happy New Year.